hello, hello, everybody. How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome back to the Shroom Shroom. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to be doing some more Genshin Impact. I hope that's all right with you guys. Guys, guys, are you excited? I'm excited. I am super duper excited uh, <laughs> to be continuing the main storyline of Genshin Impact. I am kind of addicted. I also am afraid um that i might have screwed something up Ish. that i might have messed something up a little bit because i went out of the area that i was supposed to to uh play uh some co-op last night with some friendos I don't care, Paimon. I really could care less. Could, 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 could care less. Don't care, Paimon. Really don't care. Um, let's see, what do we have to do today? What are, what are our dailies? What's our daily? Uh, yeah, we're going to be going where? Ah, Inazuma today. Ah, I see. It is Inazuma today. So, okay. Oh man, it's so hot in my room. It is so hot. I am actually sweating from the back of my head. Let's get down to oh, business. Nope. Never mind. Propagate. Germinate. Get with me! Lightning! Stop! Be still! Hello! As you wish, make The bond is strong! Who was he attacking? That's my question, is what was he attacking? Uh, let's see here. Can we get a stealth unit yet? Something that can turn invisible and can, you know, not be seen? By enemy eyes. Ugh. That tingle? There's no Spring Wait, how? I thought I put down my burst. Did he? Cancel my burst. Scatter. What? Yeah. Uh, picked the wrong test subject. Yeah, I think he canceled my burst. Holy crap! Let's see here. That's done. Moving on to the third mission. I usually like to leave the chotting ones near the, at the end. Um, I mean, you guys know that. You've been probably watching me for years at this point. Um, but let's see here. Hello? Hello. Oh, sabotage it. Goodbye. 
Nice knowing you. Fare thee well. And we'll bring Kuki up just so that she can heal. Ah, I see. It's this quest. Going up. The bond is strong. He'll eat her up. And, uh, right here. I still can't believe how far this game has come. Like, people were throwing and destroying game consoles over this game's existence. Now it's one of the best-selling games of all time. And then we go here, grab that. Almost there, halfway to AR-59. Where am I going? Where, what am I doing? What am I doing? Aha, uh -huh. wait. Right. Crafting some resin. I need to start gathering resin again. For comp the same mistake. Add uh, we're gonna grab all of that. Official, Bennett, Amber, Sungun, Kuki. Wait, I've got Sumura now. Oh, only. Okay, I would like some mining locations, please and thank you. Mining locations would be nice. How many days left on the uh, Spiral Abyss, actually? Spiral Abyss! How long? One day. Okay, so let's see. Now we're going to go to Sumeru. Do this domain. I will say, fair warning, this week might be a little weird, as I was invited to spend time with Lady the Laddie on their birthday stream, so sometime this week I will be doing that. Let's see if I get anything good today. Please get something good today. Goodbye. Was nice knowing you. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Please be something good. Ugh. Garbage. 
garbage. I don't think so. Geo damage goblet. I don't want a geo, I want a dendro. Please give me a dendro. My very first dendro go goblet would be very nice. I would very much appreciate it. That's what I thought, Fischl. And we're gonna... Okay, so one more go after this. Energy recharge. I would really like a game if you gave me something. That would be lovely. Something I could use. Anything. You are not welcome here. here. Spring forth. My royal decree. No rest. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That works. And this is my last run, I believe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The game hates me. So you're liking the new Dendro element? I love the new Dendro element. Uh, Dendro is fantastic. Dendro is really, 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 really good. Um, how are you doing, Karst? How might you be? What are you up to? Dendro is insanely good. Uh-oh. Uh. How far back did I get sent? How far back was I just sent? Yeah, I've got a bit of one myself. I Good morning, Dinger. Not at all. Huh? I'm doing well. Great idea. Let's get going. Traveler? How much of the story have you played, by the way? Okay, so we're in the same day. Not much. 
The story is fantastic. I I really really li am liking the story. Oh, are you? <laughs> it's not that simple. Each box contains a rat, and there's also no problem. These boxes of candy are numbered one to five from left Can to right. Can I get right. a skip button? Which one do you want? Oh, I like your confidence. No hesitation at all. Oh, the story is fantastic. The story is great. Ha <laughs> Paimon knew he always had incredible luck. Um, that? Oh. What? That couldn't. Mind reading? <laughs> The story is the story is amazing. I'm just trying to skip Naida Naida What's going on? Did you see something? I wanna craft some things real quick. Uh Thundering Fury. We're gonna get rid of any artifacts that I did not save. Mystic offering. Here we go. What do we get? Nothing. Uh, maybe something. Yeah, and I, I don't. I, you know who that is running away, right, Karst? Please say you know who that is. Please say you know who that is. I think so. Uh huh. Who is your guess? What do you think of Dendro, by the way? <sighs> Man, I'm sleepy. Electro is probably the best with Dendro currently. And uh, funnily enough, Dendro Traveler is actually meta. I, I, I'm so happy to see her. This isn't your first sub -Zero's festival, don't you? I'm sure you already a knowledge cap. You should use it. To uh, you know Paimon? Well, Have we been trapped in a single okay, day? Okay, okay, please. Let me you, skip. We wouldn't have even realized. What the heck? Hmm. Yes, uh, it is. Uh, your sense of deja vu. It was as if a single sheet of paper was separating those memories I love her. from your consciousness. I love her. I want her. I want her. Familiar, as you can see, that first Dunyar Zod is in front of you right now, and she doesn't have a lot of time left. 
Looks like you're almost done sorting out your... Oh, yeah. I'm Nahida. Nahida! Good. What's happening? Everything in this world runs in a loop. This uh, cycle is called as for the truth. I can only get... She looks like she isn't... If we can break out of this things are right now... Okay, we're <laughs> trying okay, so to get back to where we were. So far, what do you think the truth is? Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware. We have already experienced the Subzerus festival many times, and the day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. We have already ex The Grand Sage said, Go celebrate the moon. What's happening? That should be my mind. That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right. I need to. That doesn't. What's happening right now? That doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound. A time loop. You've given still the a simple yeah. time loop. <laughs> Doing your result. The Subzerus Festival. Let's think about our current and to do that. Okay, now I'm caught up again. I am caught up to where I was yesterday. Okay, so now I can. Continue on with what I was doing before. Okay, what am I? Hello. Hey there. Hey, it's you guys again. Where's your cultured friend? She, uh, she's feeling a little unwell. I see. Did you come back to buy something? I guarantee the freshness of my products. I harvested them from the forest just yesterday. Have you felt anything strange lately? Huh? What brought this about? I hurried back from the forest yesterday, and I'm selling protos here today. I haven't felt anything strange. Hmm, um... To put it another way, if you really, really think about it, was yesterday truly yesterday did you actually come back from the forest yesterday what kind of philosophical nonsense is this are you two daydreaming yes no okay that's Didn't the wrong you know answer. that no one dreams in sumeru go somewhere else if you want to find someone to daydream with <laughs> huh uh, he actually has a point is this a dream? Is everyone dreaming? Remember what he said just now? No one dreams in Sumeru. Hmm. True. It's so weird that people here don't dream. Why is that? Anyway, if this all really were just a dream, we would have woken up a long time ago. Hmm. Let's keep asking around. <laughs> Oh, it's you two. Was my divination so accurate that you felt compelled to compliment me in person? We actually did run into a situation, but I'm not sure if it's related to your divination. Ooh, I knew it! I told you, the god's divination is highly accurate. You just hadn't fully understood its significance yet. <laughs> totally gaming, hello! I don't know what's going on because I haven't touched Genshin in a hot minute, but the time loop repeating that makes me think of Ephemeral Fantasia. Uh, what is that? Also, totally gaming. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a while. You're really excited about this, huh? That's exactly why we came back. Help us better understand it. Uh, help you better understand it? W well, <laughs> that isn't exactly what I excel at. So, you're admitting that you don't have a clue? Anyway, what kind of situation did you get into? Y 
You've actually divined our fortunes many, many times. Huh? Uh, hold on a second. I thought you guys just lost your wallet or, or fell for a scam. Huh? What you just said. Are you serious? Does that kind of thing actually happen in real life? Do you know what's but going I on? You weren't going to believe it. Marvelous. Truly marvelous. I believe you. Recall the interpretation of your divination. The moon, illusions, and lies. It really felt like an omen. When you say it like that, the divination does sound seat. like it's related Apparently to what's going on. Light, Can you read any more? Ruchi! Thank you so much for the for the the, the follow uh, the, the subscription. I really appreciate it. How you doing? Thank you so much. Eight months. I really appreciate it. I believe that the Archon's revelations are never more than vague hints. Anything more specific is beyond the reach of mere mortals. The book only says, if you trust your instincts and overcome your fears, the sun will surely rise. I'm good. I'm addicted to the story, though. Looks like fortune telling is just fortune telling. It's no good for practical problems. We haven't made any progress. Who else can we talk to? Let's try talking to Daya again. Remembers that we tried talking to her a couple of times, but she always thinks we're playing pranks on her. You think she'll brush us off again? Let's try taking her to see the real Dunyazad. Yeah, if we tap into Dia's strong sense of responsibility as a mercenary, then she'll definitely take us seriously. Hmm, at this time of day, Dia's probably just finished beating up those kidnappers. Let's go find her. Sounds Gucci. Actually, I want to look at that animation again. Interesting. Uh, also, footwork. It's very jumpy. I'm fine, my lady. It's just a scratch. Perfect timing. Both of you are here. Paimon, Traveler, you came at just the right time. Listen, there was a dangerous ga- A gang of kidnappers that had just ambushed you. You defeated it. Huh? You saw? Then why didn't you jump in earlier? Saw? If someone was protecting Miss Dunyar's eye, I could've went all out. <sighs> anyway, can you do something for me? You want the Traveler to take Dunyar's eye somewhere to rest up while you check to see if there's still any kidnappers around. Did Paimon get that right? How did you know what I was going to say? Deja vu. We need to say something convincing. Dia sold her greatsword to raise additional funds. And then she was injured because she wasn't used to her new weapon. The moon illusions and lies. What do they all mean? My mind feels exhausted, even though I haven't done too much thinking. What is going on? People in Sumeru don't dream. Mm. What a strange phenomenon. Let's try her, for, uh, her claim more. Tell her, Traveler! You sold your greatsword to support this festival. I didn't tell anyone about that. Including <laughs> Miss you couldn't have known. And just now, you literally took the words right out of my mouth. What's going on? <laughs> right, so oh, look at me being smart. <laughs> it's kind of hard to believe what you just told me. First, let me make something clear. Most of us desert dwellers might not be the scholarly type, but we do have basic common sense. Haven't you noticed something's off about Dunyazard? She's quieter than usual. Uninterested in anything and really gloomy. Yeah, she isn't the same as before, but... 
Uh, sorry for the slow reply. You are totally fine. If Final Fantasia is a PS2 game, the MC in the, um, is a thief that ends up going to an island to steal something. The island is stuck in a time loop, uh, and the MC is immune to the loop. You have to go around to learn the roots of people and help them break free the loop to help you. Yeah, it's actually kind of similar. What made you stop um, like playing first. Genshin Totally Gaming? Huh? At first? I don't quite understand what you're all talking about. I'll go rest on the bench over there. My lady, are you angry? Come with me. I'll show you some evidence. All right. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt since you knew about my greatsword. Let's make this a quick trip. Miss Dunyarzad isn't completely safe here. Trust me, that's not Dunyarzad. <sighs> Man, it is again. The game is so pretty for being on mobile. Incredibly pretty. Like, look at that. That lighting is. Mm. I told you that it won't help to bring anyone here. We just wanted her to see the real Dunyarzad's condition. The real Dunyarzad? Uh, where and who are you talking to? Wait, what? Huh? Oh, I told you that you two are special. Other people can't see me or Miss Dunyarzad here. Hold on. Over there. Is that? You, you can see her? Wow. How perceptive. Does she have invisible antennae? What? Yes, Dunyarzad, she's, she's lying down here, isn't she? How's she doing? Her condition's really bad. Invisible she's what? She's basically in a coma. How did you know she was here? That's fair. I I tried out Tower of Fantasy for a little bit. I would honestly say Genshin's in a good place to try it out again since new content just hit, as you can probably see. Um, as much as I enjoy Tower of Fantasy, the entire time I was playing Tower of Fantasy, I couldn't help but think I would rather be playing Genshin because Genshin just has a sense of quality and, like refinement to it not only in the way that it looks but in the way that it plays it's just in my opinion in terms of like i don't know how do i explain it tower fantasy just feels kind of clunky if that makes any sense i can sense her aura i there are also lingering feelings of something like regret or disappointment what happened do you believe us now the subzero's festival has been repeating itself so you think the sages are behind this yeah they've always been against us wouldn't surprise me if they're using the akasha to intentionally repeat the subzero's festival as a sick joke hmm. you have a point Aside from the Dendro Archon, the Academia Sages are the only ones in Sumeru who could pull off something like this. Maybe there's more to the Akasha than we know. Nahida, can you tell us anything about the Akasha? Right. Didn't you awaken our memories using something that looked like a knowledge capsule? That means you must know something about the Akasha. The Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. 
Really? It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. A Gnosis could do that? No wonder the Akasha is so magical. It's being powered by the Gnosis of Sumeru's Archon. So, so where's uh, the Fatui yet? you mentioned. What did she say? She said, and Paimon quotes, the Akasha oh my gosh, I hate Paimon. Of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and it grants knowledge to the people. Compiles the wisdom of the entire populace and grants knowledge to the people. Hmm, wait. What's up? I get the grants knowledge part. That's what people have always used the Akasha for, but... Compiling the entire populace's wisdom? How does that work? Did she mean that the sages enter new knowledge into the Akasha? I doubt it. Most information in the Akasha comes from Irum. Let me let me let me refer reread that. I doubt it. Most information about the Akasha comes from Ermansol. Oh yeah. That sounds about right. What do you think? Hey, more. People in Sumeru don't dream. What a strange phenomenon. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace, and it grants knowledge to the people. What's happening right now seems to have happened before. This feeling has been getting stronger and stronger. That doesn't sound right. I need to... My mind feels exhausted. You mean the Akasha is causing our mental fatigue? Huh. Now that I think about it, my head's been feeling unusually heavy. When the desert Wait, are, are they throwing... Knowledge, a sage once said, knowledge always comes at a price. Compiling the entire country's knowledge. You think the Akasha pulled a 180 and is extracting information from us? But how would it do that? Who knows? The Akasha can put knowledge into our heads, so who's to say that it can't also poke around in there? We don't know any specifics. What's the point of doing something like that? Just think about it. If you could combine the knowledge of every single person in Sumeru, then you can basically turn Sumeru City into a single massive brain. This hive mind could make breakthroughs and problems that even the smartest geniuses can't crack. An excellent deduction. And the analogy comparing Sumeru City to a massive brain? <sighs> I love it. In that case... In which we case... Akasha terminals right away. Maybe that'll solve this problem. Somehow, I don't think it'll be that simple. Yeah, I was only wearing this for show in the first place. Didn't expect the sages to cook up such a conspiracy. Mark my words. So when are they making over, us believe that the same day is going? Thing to the public. So, is are they like making us believe the same day idea? is repeating? Actually, I noticed something else. I feel like at the end of every day, there's always a sound of a beep. Oh, that! Paimon knows what you're talking about! It's a single soft beep that sounds like it's coming from the Akasha terminal! The sound of a beep? Could it be a prompt tone for when the Akasha is operating? I heard the same sound in Port Ormos. That's probably an important clue. We weren't using our terminals, but we heard a beep anyway. Like that? <laughs> Traveler, did you hear that? I heard it too. Our ears aren't messing with us. There was definitely a beep, but it sounded like it was coming from inside my head. We took off our Akasha terminals. Wait, huh?
Faye's runtime has exceeded its expected length. At this rate, there may be casualties. But we cannot lose all of our progress. Please don't repeat. Please don't repeat. Please don't repeat. The Akasha terminal's back on. Kana remembers everything. <laughs> Good. You adapted quickly this time. At the end of last night. We definitely took off our Akasha terminals last night, but we still heard that beep. Why is that? We failed severing our connections with them? We can at least confirm one thing. The Akasha definitely has something to do with whatever's trapping us in this cycle. Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Why would the Akasha go this far if all it wants is everybody's wisdom? It's extremely difficult for lab rats in an experiment to understand why they're being treated the way they are. If we're lab rats, then what are you? Nahida, you've never told us anything about yourself. <laughs> I guess... I'm the moon. What? The moon? Wasn't that the result of our divination? <sighs> anyway, knowing who I am won't help you get closer to the truth. So you should focus on other things. Don't get distracted and miss any clues. <sighs> okay then. Dia helped us a lot yesterday, so let's go find her. If Paimon's reading the time correctly, those kidnappers should be showing up soon. Hey! Time fast forward! Thank God we don't have to go through all that all over again. Ah, there you are. I've already taken care of those kidnappers. My lady, did you get hurt? Hold on. Something's not right. What's wrong? Why are you both gawking at me like that? You... you didn't get hurt this time! Huh? What do you mean, this time? Why are you so surprised that I managed to get out unscathed? Those kids were amateurs. Aren't you still getting used to your new greatsword? Shh! How did you know about my greatsword? I haven't told anyone about it. Please, don't tell Miss Dunyar's ad. So Dia's lost her memories after all. During your battle, didn't you feel anything strange? Anything strange? You already know that I got a new greatsword. Hmm, if I had to say something, it's weird how such a new weapon could feel so familiar. It's as if... I've already used it to fight a countless number of battles. Uh -huh. Although you don't remember using it, your body feels like it does? That's right. Both mercenaries and warriors heavily rely on muscle memory. Only knowing the theory of battle won't get you anywhere. Traveler, what do you think? Could it be because we removed our Akasha terminals? Feeling really hopeful. Is it possible that we have already broken free? Oh, you're right. Earlier in the Samsara, something like this would have never happened. We'll know for sure at the end of the day. I have no clue what you two are talking about, but it's still dangerous here, so. So you want us to take Dunyar's odd somewhere else to rest while you check if there are still more kidnappers around, right? How did you know what I was going to say? Can you read minds? <laughs> uh, uh, forget it. Go and do your thing.
Okay, what exactly in the hecky is going on here? Whew. It's finally nighttime. Aside from Dia not getting injured, everything seems to have stayed the same. Hmm. Listen, Nahida, we found out that Dia got out just fine today, even though she got injured every other time she fought the kidnappers. Do you think the samsara has been broken? Have we saved Dunyarzad? Really? Good job on all that progress. Get some good sleep tonight. Hey, what kind of an answer is that? Tomorrow will come. Everyone assumes this is common knowledge. But the only way you can know that for sure is if you experience tomorrow. How many todays has it been? Is it possible that today will be followed by yesterday? Does tomorrow truly exist as anything beyond a made-up concept? It's even possible that this entire world is a lie, and the history of the whole world has just been one endless sub zeros festival. Huh? Okay, okay, no more! Paimon's brain is already shut down! <laughs> <laughs> That's why it makes no sense to waste your energy thinking about things you will learn tomorrow. Get some good rest. You know, use the bathroom and flush your anxiety to pee away. I love her. Uh, huh? Hold on, what did you just say? Did Paimon hear you correctly? Huh? People always say they feel a sense of relief after they take a duke duke. <laughs> that's why I suggested you they try that. Is that so strange? <laughs> it's so strange and so against common sense that... Paimon's at a loss for words. You were sounding kind of smart just a minute ago. We're gonna go get some rest. Yeah. Even though it's happy and lively at the Sub-Zero's festival every day, it feels like it's been a long time since we've really gotten to relax. Ugh. Let's go back to our room. Continue the harvest. Compared to what we stand to achieve, these sacrifices are trivial. <laughs> Expected. It's not as simple as we thought. Nahida, you already knew last night that we didn't break out of the Samsara? Why did you tell us? <laughs> Would there have been a point? You that spent the night with new worries, with tomorrow still out of reach. In that case, you might as well rest within that brief moment of hope. An opportunity like that doesn't come by often, and I thought it might help you clear your minds. I'm a Whatever. Guess you were looking out for us after all. <laughs> of course. In the time we've been together, you two have been everything to me. Uh, Paimon's flattered and everything, but maybe you're taking things a little fast. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean is, even though I had asked you to solve this puzzle, you two are still the only ones who can see me and sense my presence. In other words, if you weren't here, I may as well not exist. That's why you two have been everything to me. Get it? Nahida's talking about confusing stuff again. Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. So, Traveler, did the new clues yesterday help you gain a new understanding of the situation? The time loops th the time loop theory is indeed incorrect. Dot, Daya's fighting skills have been improving. Dunyazad's illness has also gotten worse. Oh, yeah! You're right! Gosh, how did we not notice that? In a simple time loop, people's physical conditions should also reset. So, what's your new hypothesis? We've already experienced the sub Zerus festival many times. The day of the festival seems to be in a perpetual samsara. Okay, Nahida said the Akasha relies on the power of a Gnosis to operate, as it is the mm. manifestation of the God of Wisdom's power. It compiles the wisdom of the entire populace. 
and it grants knowledge to the people. The beep is a prompt tone for Akasha operations. We still hear it every night, even though we removed our Akasha terminals. Mercenaries rely heavily on muscle memory, and Dia was able to use her experiences to avoid injury in later Samsara cycles. The moon, illusions, and lies. What do they all mean? That's also true. Fair. Hmm. I can't seem to cohesively piece everything together. If all our memories of a day are erased at the end of that day, then we would unwittingly relive the same day again and again. Okay. Nahida said the Akasha relies on... We've already experienced the Subzerus Festival me Mercenaries rely heavily on muscle men. The moon... And the beep is a... If all our memory... Let's try that. <sighs> we aren't in a time loop. Instead, our memories are being erased at the end of each day. I knew it! <gasps> She just did. To put it simply, it's as if you've mistaken a pyro crystal fly for a firefly in the night. You lost sight of its true nature because you focus too much on your perception that it glows. <laughs> that isn't simple at all! Still the wrong conclusion, huh? Why don't you go talk to Miss Dia again? You might learn something new. Right! She did help us find our latest clue after all. Let's go! I, however, need to take a quick break to get myself an energy drink. So I'm going to be right back real quickie, Nick. And we I will be right back. I won't be long. <laughs> 